Hey guys, it's Sam with Celebrity Workout Routines. Welcome to the video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing Sierra's workout routine and what you can potentially do to also get a physique like hers. So before we get into it though, just a quick note, if you do enjoy the video, really appreciate it if you could give it a like or subscribe to my channel. It just uh, really gives me some great feedback on what type of celebrities to make videos on in the future. All right, so let's not waste any more time and let's get into it. All right, for, so for this type of workout, you know, our primary goal is going to be to get to a low body fat percentage while maintaining as much muscle tone as we possibly can. So the primary, primary way we're going to do this is just with a high intensity weight training program combined with cardio roughly three to four times a week. So we'll get into the actual exercises a little bit later in this video, or you can actually go down to the description. I've posted a sample workout below that you can take a look at, but essentially what it's going to be is a five-day workout split. So each single day, we're going to focus on a different part of the body and target five to seven exercises for that day. And the main goal here, since we are trying to maintain muscle tone, we're going to go after hypertrophy, which means it's essentially muscle size compared to actually building up the strength of the muscle. So with hypertrophy, we're going to do, you have to be in a range of three to four sets and 12 to 20 repetitions of that exercise per set. So that's what you're going to see in the workout a little bit later. But the primary goal of this five-day workout split is just going to be keep extended workouts and it's the goal is going to be to keep your heart rate elevated for 60 to 90 minutes. You know, the actual weightlifting program, it shouldn't take you longer than maybe 30 to 45 minutes. And then you'll fill in the rest of that time with a low intensity or medium intensity cardio program. So, and types of cardio, you can literally do whatever you want, but you know, it does get kind of boring to just be on a treadmill all the time. So some, you know, some of my favorite ways to incorporate cardio and not really get bored is just yoga, kickboxing, uh, jumping rope is another great one, and even Stairmaster. Um, you could go hiking if you live in a place with uh, mountains. You could go surfing if you live near an ocean. You know, the, the opportunities are endless. It's just get out there, do something that is keeping your heart rate elevated and burning some extra calories. All right, so this is an example workout. You know, you might not know all of the exercises on each of these uh, days, but that's not going to be, you know, I'm not going to dive into all that. That might be going a little bit too far for this video, but what I would suggest is in the description below, I put the entire workout in there. And if you actually go to bodybuilding.com, you can actually type in these actual exercises and it'll show you exactly how to do it and what proper form is. So, you know, that's what I would personally start out with. And before you just go in the gym, just take a look at exactly what these different exercises are. And just, uh, yeah, and then just go in there, go slow, focus on form. You know, if you don't even worry about how much weight you're able to do each of these with, you know, at, or as time goes by, you're going to get stronger inherently, you know, but starting off just uh the main goal is just to get the form and understand the motion of the exercise and another thing i would really warn against is skipping any of these days you know if you let's say you just really really like legs and butt day or butt and calves day and that's all you do then the rest of your body is not getting the tr proper training it needs so and you're going to build these imbalances in your body. So I would highly recommend you stick to this actual program rather than kind of, you know, picking and choosing what seems easiest or what seems like you might like it the most. So, uh, yeah, just follow this for four to five weeks, see how it feels. And then you can always switch it up to a different workout after that. But when you first start out with the workout program, it is good to get at least four to six weeks in, and then you can switch and kind of surprise or shock your body with the new workout routine that it's not as used to. And uh, one last thing about this sample workout, uh, three times a week after your weight training session, uh, it's highly recommended you just do some low-intensity cardio. It could just be a light jog or um, you know, a yin yoga session just to cool down a bit, uh, just roughly 30 to 45 minutes. And 
don't really you don't need to be you know doing 100 meter sprints but a max effort of like seven or eight out of ten is what the goal is going to be all right guys well that's it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it and hope this is useful for you to build the physique of your dreams if you guys have any questions feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section below and if you did enjoy the video really appreciate it if you could give it a like or subscribe to my channel all right guys thank you guys for watching catch y'all later peace